What up folks, it's Alex here, Mr. Alex Tech. I hope you are doing well. I'm just here to let you know that there is a brand new version of my completely free Zoom tool for DaVinci Resolve available right now. It's called Magic Zoom if you've never heard of it before, and here's exactly what it does. You drop Magic Zoom onto your timeline, hit play, and you'll do a simple punch in and punch out. You can use the on-screen crosshair to put this wherever you want, so you can zoom into any position on screen. Open up the inspector, we can change the zoom amount, the length, set custom in and out points, change the pivot, toggle on some really nice buttery smooth motion blur, change the zoom type, constant zooms, mess with the curve to make it look totally different, even add this really cool pitch in your 3D effect. It's completely flexible, you can make it as long or as short as you need it to be. It's customizable with all of those controls within the inspector and it will work on any frame rate and any resolution. It's available right now, but you do need to be on at least DaVinci Resolve 19.1.1 to make use of this brand new version. The old version is still available though if you're on an old version of DaVinci Resolve for whatever reason. Oh, and yes, it works on both the free and studio versions of DaVinci Resolve, so we get zooms for all. Well, hey. So, let me show you how to download, how to install, and how to start using Magic Zoom Free. Hmm. So first thing you want to do is click on the link down in the description below, and it will take you to this website here, where you can get access to Magic Zoom Free. Down the bottom here, there's an email box. You just need to pop your email in there and then simply click get now. After a few moments, this email will come through and at the bottom, there's a big red download now button. So you just need to give that a click. The magic zoom free.zip file will be downloaded. This is a zip file, so you just need to unpack it or because I'm on Mac, I can double click to open it up. I've got magic zoom free, so we'll open that up. And then we've got a magic zoom free.drfx. This is the latest version for you to install. As mentioned earlier, I have included the older version for those that are on an older version of DaVinci Resolve. But because we're on the latest version, all we need to do is double click on the DRFX file. DaVinci Resolve will open if it wasn't open already, and it'll ask you if you want to install Magic Zoom Free. We do, so we simply hit install. Once installed, we just need to open up the effects library from the edit page, come on down to toolbox, effects there'll be a new folder within there called magic toolkit magic zoom and then you'll see the single magic zoom free tool within there we can give that a click and either drop it directly on our footage on the timeline like so or my preferred method i'm just going to go to the standard effects folder grab an adjustment clip put that on my timeline then we'll go back to magic zoom grab the magic zoom free and we'll put that on the adjustment clip instead so wherever we put this adjustment clip, if we hit play, it's simply going to punch in and then let's shorten this. As it gets to the end, it'll punch right back out again. Now having it on an adjustment clip is handy because we can put it wherever we like. If we hold the Alt key or Option on our keyboard, we can click and drag to duplicate that adjustment clip so we can have multiple different zooms on our timeline if we need to. If I give this first one a click, under my preview window here, we want to click this little drop down and then come down to Fusion Overlay and then we get this little X within our preview window. This is the point that we're zooming in to. So if I hit play over here, we're gonna zoom into the middle, but if I wanted to zoom into this bottom left, we can move that over there, or the top left, or the top right. We can just drag this around and put this little crosshair wherever we want to be zooming in. So you can just customize it using this little cross. And then if we hit play, we'll pop in, and then we'll pop out. Now to start customizing it, give the adjustment clip a click on the timeline, open the inspector, Go to Effects, Fusion, and you'll see all of the controls within here for Magic Zoom Free. First thing we've got at the top, the zoom amount. So if we hit play, we'll zoom in that much. We're going up to 1.5. But if we increase this, we can zoom in more or less. So you can just control the zoom amount with this simple wheel. If we double click, we can reset to the standard, which is 1.5. There's then a zoom length. So by default, the zoom is going to take exactly one second to go all the way in. If we increase this number, this is in seconds. So if I make this two, that zoom is gonna take two seconds. Underneath there, we've also got these zoom in points. So by default, it will zoom in at the beginning and then out at the end as mentioned. But sometimes you may want to zoom in at a different point and you don't want to mess around kind of resizing the adjustment clip or making cuts or anything like that. So what you can do is simply hit play and let's say at this exact point here, wherever my playhead is, 
This is when I want to do my zoom. I can just hit zoom in point. It'll set my zoom in time, just like so. And then if we hit play, it'll hold at the beginning and then zoom in. And then it will zoom out a few seconds later. Or we can simply go, now's the point I want to zoom out. So I'll hit my zoom out point, like so. If you want to set it back to that standard mirrored mode, you simply click on reset points. Those little controls will go away and it'll be set to be at the start and the end. Now, if you find yourself really enjoying Magic Zoom Free and you want some more zoomy goodness, at any time you can click on this upgrade button, which will take you to my website where you can purchase Magic Zoom Pro, the full pack. This has loads more zooms, some multi-zoom workflows, masks, borders, effects, saver tools, trackers, and more. Or you could check out this video sponsor, audio.com. It's the only place you need to go to find all of the music and sound effects you could ever need fast. There's new music added daily and you can explore thousands of high quality songs by over 450 artists. Navigate by mood, genre, instrument, video theme, build, BPM, vocals, duration and more. There's even AI based search in the form of link match, hands and bolt. So you can find similar songs in an instant using Bolt or simply describe your scene or music in detail and Hans AI will search the audio library to find you just the right music. And that Audio Pro license is a license that covers everything. It's paid just once per year and it includes unlimited access to their entire music and sound effects catalogs. And it's available right now for just $59 for your first year. All you need to do is click on the link down in the description below to head over to audio.com, select the Audio Pro license and then use the code ALEX70 at checkout to get your first year for just $59. Simples. Right, let's jump back to Magic Zoom. Now, if you don't want to use the on-screen controls, although it is much easier, to be honest, there is also this pivot. So you can just move your X and Y to set the position that you're zooming into. I've also put some quick access buttons. Now, this is mostly for those people that do tutorials like I do, but it just makes life a little bit easier. So if you want to go top left, you just click top left and it'll put your little marker in the very top left hand corner. We've got top right, bottom left and bottom right. And if you want to get back to the center, just double click on the pivot and it'll put it right back in the middle for you. Now, this version, as it is, doesn't have motion blur just yet, which means it runs really quick and it should render really quickly as well. You can turn on motion blur by simply hitting this motion blur on button and then we get a motion blur slider. Now, this motion blur is also really smooth, really easy to run and should render really quick. It's just a little bit quicker with it off, which is why it's off by default. But if we toggle that on, we can just increase the motion blur, hit play, and we've got some nice motion blur as we punch in. This will also change depending on the length and the speed. So if it's a faster zoom, you'll get more motion blur. You don't need to go around changing the amount. It will just update as required. And if you want even more, we can smash this motion blur right the way up to give us a really zoomy, motion blurry kind of look. Double click to reset it to the standard one turn it off at any time. Next up, we've got this zoom type. So as mentioned, it goes in and out. If we wanted it to only go in, we can simply set it to in only, and that will punch in at the beginning, hold its position, and then at the end, it will just simply jump out. So you won't actually get the out animation. Similarly to that, we can change it to out only, so it will jump in at the beginning to our desired zoom length, and then animate out. There is a constant zoom, Kind of like a dynamic zoom, but honestly, dynamic zooms already exist. So if you want a constant zoom, you might be better just using dynamic zooms. But basically, we can just increase this to give us a slow zoom in across the length of our adjustment clip. And then there is a static, which doesn't really do anything. It's just nice for doing a quick punch in. So rather than having it animated, you can just use this to do a snap kind of zoom instead. Now, it's worth mentioning on the in and out controls, as well as the in and the out only, you also have a constant zoom, starting zoom, and ending zoom. So if I wanted this to punch in at the beginning and then punch out at the end, but also do a slow constant zoom out in the middle, we can just knock this constant zoom down. And now if we hit play, we'll do a slow zoom out throughout the clip. If I didn't want this to start from this kind of 1x zoom, we can change the starting zoom. 
So if I wanted to, I could have this jump all the way in to something like three, and then it'll actually punch out to our zoom amount, which is currently set to two. So you can completely change and customize the starting zoom amount. That applies to the end zoom as well. So if you don't want this to zoom out to one, you want it to zoom out even further, for example, you could set the ending zoom out to something else, or you can increase it like so. Then there's the curve control. So this curve is referring to our animation curve. So as we zoom in, you can see it's a real nice progressive zoom. It accelerates and it slows down. We can change these easings. Now I highly recommend you just kind of play with these is the easiest way to get an idea of what they do because this is changing the S curve. The further you go down this list, the more dramatic effects you'll get. So if I go with something like back, it's gonna do a little punch out first and then punch in. This second control here is the second half of the S curve. So kind of once it's arrived at its destination, so let's set this one to back as well. Now it's gonna do a little punch out and then zoom in and then zoom in too far and then punch out again. So it's kind of giving us a, an exaggerated zoom. So play around with these, come up with different combos and find a look that you like. If you wanna get really fancy, you can change this curve to custom and then you get this little keyframey graph here and you can actually set a completely custom curve so you can mess around with this to get it to do all sorts of crazy things. Then last but not least, we've got two additional buttons at the bottom. We've got enable pitch and yaw and then we've got shake. So if we click on enable pitch and yaw, we get these cool 3D controls. Now these are actually linked to our pivot point. So what I recommend you do, grab your little crosshair and put it kind of in the bottom left or bottom right hand corner. And then if we adjust our pitch, we see we can change our X axis like so. And if we adjust our Y, we can do our Y axis and then rotate is our Z axis. So we can just customize this to get kind of a 3D effect, get the look that we like. Now it's cool because it's linked to this pivot as mentioned. So if we move over to the right, you can see it's gonna keep our amount, but just keep looking in the middle, which means you don't then need to go and kind of flip the pitch and the yaw it will always work keeping your footage in the frame. Now this is also linked to the zoom. So at the very beginning, you won't have that 3D effect. And as you zoom in, it's gonna give you your little 3D look. Now we can also change the curve here. There's a DVE ease. So we can change the animation curve for how this 3D effect is working. So have a play with that. And if you don't like that 3D effect being linked to the pivot, you can change it from dynamic to custom and then you get pivot controls. So you can kind of move this around. You'll have to spend way more time with this getting it just right, but we can move the pitch and the yaw and the rotation, and then it's linked to the pivot you've set within the inspector rather than being linked to the zoom pivot point on screen. Personally, I don't tend to use that. I'll stick to the dynamic because it's just much easier, but I figured for those that want the customization, it's there. Lastly, we've got shake. So let's just put this little cross on a little seagull over here. So we punch in and if we enable shake, this is simple camera shake. So if we hit play, it'll punch in and then it'll just give us a camera shake as we go. We can change the motion scale, the speed scale. We can put motion blur on our shake effect and we can change the shake level. So this is gonna shake all the way through our adjustment clip. But if we wanted to have like a really shaky zooms but then actually stay still, Throughout the adjustment clip, we can change it to zooms only. So we'll get a shake effect at the beginning. We've got a shaky zoom, and then it will settle down in the middle. So again, customize this however you like. Now one very last thing, it is designed kind of to punch in like so, but if for whatever reason you decide to use it to punch out instead, I have put some additional background controls on here. So you can enable a colored background. So let's make this red, and you can enable a drop shadow. And it's still animated, it still works kind of in the way that you like, just like so. So if you decide to punch out with it, there's some additional controls for you there. And that is Magic Zoom Free in a nutshell. Head over to the link down in the description below to give it a go. Maybe consider upgrading to Pro in the future if you really like this free version and you want some more zoomy goodness. And don't forget to check out this video sponsor, Audio, also by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, take it easy. I'll see you next time.